Hello, I am Brianna. Welcome to my life on paper where paper and pictures tell my story and welcome to stretch the sketch where we all take the same sketch and we make it bigger or smaller than a 12 by 12. We are also playing along with the sketch Sunday crew and off the board with pineapple papers. We are all using the same sketch. Here is the sketch by Laura Whitaker. Um, and I am making a two page sketch. Uh, this paper is from the paper studio at Hobby Lobby. It was in my stash. And now I am using this paper to go across the two pages to be on the bottom. And I kind of want to be, uh, I'm a kind of precise scrap, not really precise scrapbooker, but um, my idea was to go from, I don't know if it was six inches, and then just go down to like four inches. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, to four inches. And then on the other side would be like four inches down a little bit. And so... Here's my awkwardness that I don't do math and I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. And I think I end up ripping it and not using the trimmer anyway, but you know, um, trial and error. So <laughs> the, the little points that I put on there did help me figure out, uh, where I was going to fold that paper to. I do fold it forwards and backwards and make sure I've got a good line going there so that it's easier to, to tear. Um, I wasn't, once I tear, I wasn't paying attention to which direction I was tearing it as far as where the white core was going to go, which I will um, fix later after I do the second side. The pictures I am using that you will see that are hidden under the trimmer right now are when my daughter and I went to a youth convention, uh, and it was a year ago now, like exactly, yeah, like exactly a year, well, not quite, but almost exactly a year ago. Um, so I'm getting these done in the, in the album and I'm ex excited to relive the pictures through scrapbooking. Um, so here you'll see me tear, hopefully, um, and, uh, oh, I'm still trying to like make sure I get it exactly right. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like I should have just torn it. It's not a big deal. Get over it. But I have to like do it a million times. Is it exactly right? Get the ruler out. Make sure. Other things I can slap down and not worry about. I don't know why this was so particular. I guess because I wanted to match up to the other side and make it look, you know, not not lose any of the paper if I made a mistake and and that kind of thing. So uh, it's interesting in that I was I pull out this other piece of paper that I had to use for the other part, but it, by using this part of the paper, the colors matched up nicer. So I see it. This is where I'm going. Hmm. Which, which part of the paper should I be using? And I go, oh, yep, this will work better. So I make my little marks on there. I think this part goes a little bit faster now that I did the first one. <laughs> and I think I've sped it up a little bit more too. That helps. Um, but here you're going to see, I wasn't quite as careful. I got that nice white edge on. And so then I'll go back to the other side and get that white edge on. So not a problem, not a big deal to fix that at all. I will take my ATG adhesive to get that glued down. It was a little bit tricky. Um, the trick to a two page layout is always to make sure that the outside edge, so on the right hand side page, it would be the right hand side and the left hand page, it would be the left hand side, really lines up because that middle, no matter how that looks, if it's overlapping or underlapping, uh, is going to be in the middle of the book and you're not going to notice it as much. Um, so I do have two four by six and then uh, when I trim this one down I'll have two three by four photos so I tuck those in in the middle um I have these uh mats and I think they're probably I don't they're probably not latex but you know they're like a rubbery mat and I got them off of Amazon it's probably they're probably like for cookie sheets to kind of put down on a cookie sheet but I like the way that you can use them for mixed media and then they wash up really nicely. Very loud and vibrant colors, but that means that I don't lose them in my scrapbook stuff. Uh, this is a Nicole Jones uh, 911 printable, that big, nice blue um, view finder there, view master. Um, so I'm going to get one of those on either side. I did, I, it was just one and I cut it in half. And then I have these paper, uh, they're actually paper flowers, but they're from close to my heart. And uh, as per usual, they're at least 15 years old, probably much older than that. And uh, 
I don't know how this came to me, but I was like, why don't I spray them? I did think about using watercolor and I was like, what about spray? So you can see I used my little dish as kind of the backdrop. Why I didn't use the, well, I know why I didn't use the, the mat for it because it was upstairs drying in my kitchen. Um, but I sprayed the um, flowers and be careful when you do that because my first one, Meredith might have got a little blue on her face. It's okay. She'll live. And actually with the, all the colors of the, um, the photo, I think it'll be just fine. Um, these are, I think those are doodle bug stickers that have been in my stash forever. Those could have been actually colored as well, but I left them white. I have this amazing creative memories punch, um, that makes these lovely little flowers. So I took my black paper flowers. I am going to spray them with a little bit of white and it's um, a delusions. So it's a little um, sparkly. Uh, it's iridescent shimmer spray. And so, and I've never noticed that before, but now putting them on these, on the black paper, you can totally tell, but I'm going to layer those and then add a white or actually an off white. I don't know. I think a white <laughs> brad in there as well. Lots of brads in my stash. Um, and then you can see I put that little paper clip on top that matches the blue. Now I know I'm using a lot of blue and there's a lot of different colors. My shirt is blue. The one photo has blue in it. Um, and I do sneak some pink in there, which I was a little worried. If you've seen my videos before, I don't want it to look like a baby page with pink and blue. This is a very different blue. It doesn't give that baby feeling. And it's pulling colors from not only our clothes and the pictures, but also the papers. So I think it turns out just fine. Um, uh, this youth convention that we went to, these pictures are actually from like the concert part where there's lots of music going on. Um, I've been doing lots of different photos from, from this event, but probably not many lately actually. So I am caught, caught up through July of last year. So this is where I'm, I'm, uh, this is my fun part of where I'm working on and reminiscing. And here is where I am going through and just getting all these pieces where I want them. Um, trying to do clusters of two and threes. Um, I did find a tag in my stash, so I'm using that. Here's a, just a little leftover piece of pa paper, but it had this border already on it. So I tucked that in there. I liked that. Uh, you can see another Nicole Jones 911 printable with the pink viewfinder up on the right side there. Uh, that white chipboard flower is just in my stash from a long time ago, so I knew I would sneak that in there. I have a pink, pink paper clip that I put on the left of the photo, and then I've got some pink kind of jute that or twine that I run through my tag, and I'll do that uh, the same on the other side. Um, this little, it's a just a cut out piece um, that says good shear from, um, from a cut apart. And then, I, you know, I'm really spreading my flowers apart. You can see the three on the right hand, the blue is on the, uh, they're really, you know, one's up high, one's middle and one's low. I don't do a, such a great job on this left side at where the two blue flowers and the white flowers there on below the photo are just really horizontal from each other. They're following the, the upsweep of the paper, but I mean, I just, I couldn't, I like it that way, <laughs> I guess is what it comes down to. So I wasn't going to work too hard. Well, here you see, I'm moving it around. Maybe I do move it around. Nope. They end up on the bottom. <laughs> they, and, and that's a brad that, or it, it's got a nail head type thing, that white that moves around the paper a lot. You can see there's a circle of white, the same thing, kind of a nail head type thing moves around, but I just, I had enough going on here. I didn't need to use those, but I, at one point I do want to use those out of my stash. The pink banner came out of my stash. I got that when I was like at a retreat and someone had it for sale. Um, I thought that was a nice pop of color and bring some more of that pink in. The, um, the journaling card, Live It Up, that was out of my stash. Um, I liked how it brought all those colors in and it was a very, it's a good title, Live It Up. Um, that one... To, on the left hand side, on the right side of the pictures, it turned out to be very pink and I was a little bit struggling with that. I wanted some more blue in there. Um, I don't know that I did. Oh, I do. You'll see, I just get up. Um, I pull out some blue brads that are sparkly. There, you can see it now in the white uh, floral in that cluster. 
and uh, that makes me happy. So I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous day and please come back and see me again soon.